Hey guys, what is up? James Penrose here for video number 90 on my channel. And this video is going to be yet another video on my thoughts on one of the matches that's going to be happening at SummerSlam 2014 in two weeks. Um, I've already given my thoughts yesterday on the Jack Swagger Rusev in a flag match thoughts. Um, thoughts on John Cena, Brock Lesnar, Brie Bella, Stephanie McMahon. This video is going to be my thoughts on another match that's just been recently confirmed for some reason. It's only been confirmed just the other day by WWE, but it's official now. They're going to be doing a match between Roman Reigns going one-on-one -on -one with the Viper, the Apex Predator, Randy Orton. Um, I don't know if this is a regular match. I haven't checked properly if this is a, a regular match. I'm pretty sure it is a regular match. I don't know if there's going to be an added stipulation. Um, but this is going to be a regular match. I'm going to be talking about my thoughts on the build-up so far. The build-up for um, from this past Monday Night Raws that we've seen. The, from the Monday Night Raw we saw last night. And my predictions for this match and how the match could turn out at SummerSlam itself. So the build-up for some for the match at SummerSlam, it's basically started out on the night where Brock Lesnar was announced to face John Cena for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship at SummerSlam. Before that was announced, you had Randy Orton come out, and as Triple H was announcing, Randy Orton was the one to go against Cena for the title at SummerSlam. Randy Orton comes out, he's celebrating, I'm the number one contender. He gets his one-on-one -on -one rematch he ever he never had since WrestleMania. And who comes out but Roman Reigns to attack Randy Orton to steal that moment, steal that spotlight from him. And they just go in an all-out uh, brawl. They go into the crowd, they fight in, in the crowd. And that's when Paul Heyman and Brock Lesnar come out to announce that Brock Lesnar was going to face Cena for the title. Then the next week on Raw, um, you had a backstage in segment between Randy Orton and Triple H. Where Triple H saying to Randy, you, you know what, Randy, as long as Roman Reigns is in... is around here, if he's in the picture, then you will never ever get a shot at the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. As long as he's around, you won't get another shot. And Randy Orton's like, oh, so what you're telling me, what you're telling me right now is that Roman Reigns cost me my shot at the title. And Triple H is like, yeah, you want to finish off him? You want to finish him off? Finish him off tonight. Finish him off in any way you can. And Randy Orton's like, oh yeah, I'll do that. I'll destroy him and all that. <laughs> and basically, it was just gloating from there. And that's what I love to see. He's kind of bringing that fire back, that apex predator back. And you'll see what happens when I get to this part. Um, later on at the night, there was supposed to be a match between Roman Reigns versus Kane, and just a regular match, which quite honestly, if it was a regular match, it probably wouldn't have been that good, it probably would have been shit, actually. Um, so, but who comes out but Randy Orton, who attacks Roman Reigns from behind, and the assault begins from there, just pummeling him right hands to the face, constantly, constantly. Um, DDT off the barricade onto the bar uh, concrete floor. Um, two RKO's on the announce table, and every time... It takes a lot for Randy Orton to break the announce table with an RKO. A lot of times it just fails miserably, but it took him two attempts to break the announce table with the RKO. First time it didn't work, second time it, sat, it went into full effect, and it was a perfect RKO through the table, and that definitely solidified Randy Orton as the Apex Predator again, the Viper, which is what I love to see, because lately they haven't been giving me this feel like Randy Orton is this Viper, that can take on anybody, that can be that evil son of a bitch that can do any sadistic deed, you know, but we saw it on that world last week that, you know what, he's a tough son of a bitch who can take out anybody whenever he wants, when people steal from him, because Randy Orton's like, you know what, when people steal from me, that's what happens, you'll get taken out, and that's what happened to Roman Reigns, and it showed that, you know what, the beast can be tamed, which is Roman Reigns. Um, so that was a good segment from there. Um, then last night on Raw, um, we had... Um, a segment with uh, the authority, Randy Orton was in the ring talking about like, oh that, that's exactly what happens, that's what you get Roman from stealing that title shot from me, and I'm going to finish you off at SummerSlam basically, that's what he said. Roman Reigns comes out saying, you know what, I want you in a match tonight, Triple H says, you know what, no you're not going to get Randy Orton tonight, you're going to get the Demon King tonight, but it's going to be in a last man standing match, and when I saw that I was in shock, I was like, whoa what the fuck, last man standing match for the opener of Raw, I don't recall ever seeing that in a long time um, and that was a fairly good last man standing match, you had a good amount of spots in there, I thought Kane was going to win at one point, through a choke slam through the table Roman Reigns gets up hits a Superman punch, Kane gets up there but hits it, it was weird because when Roman Reigns hit the Superman punch on Kane the referee wasn't counting he was down and out Kane and the referee is just standing there not knowing what to do, he was down and out it's a last man standing match and you're not even going to count, he's down and out. But then he got up and then he hit the spear and that's when the ref did start counting. 
and Roman Reigns ended up beating Kane, making him look credible as well. And that's what I love about it. It's equally balanced between two superstars. You have a credible guy and a credible guy that's equally built up to being credible and just dominant as face or heel, combined into one, and I love it. This match at SummerSlam, I could see being a contender for match of the night. Um, I see the match of the night not going to this match. I could see the ma match of the night going to Cena and Brock Lesnar or Chris Jericho, Bray Wyatt or Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins. Yeah, there's a possibilities out there, but this could be one of them. My prediction for this match. Uh, by the way, you guys comment down below and leave your predictions down below as to what you want to see happen. Do you want to see Roman Reigns win or do you want to see Randy Orton get a surprise victory? Because I think if Randy Orton were to win this match, I think that would be a bit of a surprise to me. But then again, I don't think I would complain with it. I think Roman Reigns needs to go over. That's my prediction. Roman Reigns is going to win. Uh, but then again, I also could see um, a count out, a disqualification, pus pushing this feud further to Night of Champions um, with an added stipulation, um, which I think would be cool to see, um, unless they don't have shitty build-up after SummerSlam, because that would really get stale, repetitive, and boring as fuck. Um, no, nah, Roman, Reigns, Roman Reigns needs to win, because he is the next big star in WWE. We all know Daniel Bryan is this next big star in WWE, but he's injured right now. He's got nerve problems on his arm, um, shoulder. He's going to be going for another surgery. And I, f I feel sorry for Daniel Bryan. He's been through so much shit this year. He's been off Raw so much when he was champion. Honeymoon, off Raw. Dad dying, off Raw. Neck injury, off Raw. All that stuff. And it's just... It's glad that they stripped him because the title ring was getting boring. And it was not Daniel Bryan's fault. It was not Daniel Bryan's fault that his title ring was getting boring. It was because... So much stuff was keeping him off TV. What else would you want him to do? Um, but off topic, um, this match, Roman Reigns, in my prediction, will win. Count, or the, count out or disqualification, I'll be iffy off. But then again, that will give him another match. Um, so yeah, guys, leave your comments and predictions down below as to what you see could be happening. Um, the next video I'll be making will be tomorrow. Um, my video will be my thoughts on the rematch between Chris Jericho and Bray Wyatt, which I also think is a good feud. Um, and yes, that is pretty much it guys, thank you guys for watching this video, make sure you guys like this video, comment on this video, subscribe to my channel, that's the most important thing, subscribe to Alex Wilkinson and Connor Kenway, Cam and Ben Gaming, three great subscribers of mine, make good videos, uh, Cam and Ben Gaming, he's a newcomer on YouTube, doesn't get, he's not, he hasn't got himself out there much, but make sure you guys subscribe to him, he's not, doesn't make the best videos in the world, but still it's decent to watch. Um, Connor Kenway and Alex Wilkinson, two great friends of mine that I know really, really well. You can follow them for GTA reviews, Assassin's Creed reviews, cheats, unlockables, trophies, glitches. They do the lot, so go check them out. So other than that, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. I'm James Penrose, and all I can say is this. Peace out, my brothers.